Hello guys, we are back again and on today's tutorial we want to look at how to calculate the quantity of concrete in a retaining wall. Remember we had done a video previously on how to take off quantities of a retaining wall, the entire taking off from the beginning up to the start. So today we just want to look at the concrete aspect in a retaining wall. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine. If you are new here, you know how we do it. Kindly subscribe, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you guys for the support that you have really shown us. So we proceed to our retaining wall and look at what we need. So this is our retaining wall. So the retaining wall, we have been given the measurements that we need for the for the taking for the concrete so we have this is our we did it is that 500 this is our our depth so this is the base down here we have a base this is our our base where the retaining wall is lying on so the width it is that 500 the depth is 600 and then we've been told the wall is 10 meters long so our wall going this way is 10 meters long so the retaining wall is 10 meters long so when we want to take off the quantities of this base so we are going to take the quantities in two we are going to take the quantities in the base that is in the foundation and then we come and take the quantities in there in the walls so for the foundation we need the length which is 10 meters long and then we need the depth the width sorry which is at 500 and then we need the the depth that is for the for the for the foundation so we book that one so the length is 10.00 the width is 3.50 the depth is 0 0.60 and then it is 1 is to 3 is to 6 that is the concrete mix that is has been used in the foundation so we say 1 is to 3 is to 6 concrete in 20 millimeters aggregates in the in the foundation now once we are done with the foundation we go to the we go to the concrete in the wall so concrete in the wall is this wall here this is our wall going up like that that is our that is our wall so concrete in the wall we need we need to get the we need to get the length mm -hmm. that is the length is the base at the at down here is 1500 down here is 1500 and on the top here is is 450 and then the depth is from top here the depth of the concrete the wall is from the top here that is 403 and the 500 plus and then we have from the ground level up to down here is 400 so we need to add that one that is giving us that 900 that 900 so that is our overall overall depth now for us to be able to get the for us to be able to get the the width we are going to take the average so we are going to take 1500 plus 450 so that is 1500 plus 450 gives us 19 1900 and then 1900 we divide by 2 that gives us 950 so that is going to be our our width so we need the length remember the wall is 10 meters long and then the width the average with it now that is 950 and then the depth which is 3.90 so we book that one 10.00 0 0.95 3.90 and then we say 1 is to 2 is to 4 that is what you've been given in the description that is rc concrete wall 1 is to 2 is to 4 so in 20 millimeters aggregate in the in the wall so that is how we do the booking so if you want to get the volume if you want to get the volume of the concrete you can just take 10 multiplied by let me take my calculator 3.5 and then you also multiply by 0 0.60 so you you have you write here that is 21 point 21.0 and then you can also do the same for the for the walls so that is 10 10 multiplied by 0 .0 0 0.095 and then you multiply by the depth is 3.90 so you're going to get 28 point 28.5 so here is 28 
0.5 this is 21.5 so you can find the total the total volume of concrete that you are going to need it will be 28.5 plus 21.0 that gives you 49.49.50 so guys that is how you go about the concrete if you want to quantify the the amount of concrete that you are going to need for your for your retaining walls thank you for your time until next time bye bye